Mr. Black, I see you finally woke up. I have to apologize for the rough invite, but, but I had to make certain that we would not be interrupted. I'm afraid these measures are necessary. You see, the people you try to blackmail are used to get what they want. Fuck you! Oh, how rude of me. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Luger. Like the gun. Tell your bosses they have nothing to fear from me. If they pay the right price. Mr. Black, I think we both know that there are only two ways how this is going to happen. There's an easy way, or there's the way which involves my tools getting dirty. So, what will it be? I guess I'll have to clean my tools. Mr. Black, I am impressed. Not many have withstood my methods that long. But you could spare yourself all this pain if you would simply tell me what I need to know. You think I'm dumb enough not to have an airtight insurance? If you don't release me, every new station will hear of your news filter algorithm. Mr. Black, I think we both know that this is merely a clever decoy. Yes, reports of our algorithm would be an inconvenience, but nothing more. We have ways to discreetly manage this kind of situation. But what you have done, that was clever. I give you that. No one was ever able to tamper with the code in such a way that we couldn't recover it ourselves. Just analyzed it. I didn't change a single line. Please don't play dumb with me, Mr. Black. We both know you did more than that. If Luger doesn't get results within the next hour, kill them both. Mr. Black, I fear we can't keep enjoying ourselves much longer. So, why don't you tell me where you hit the virus? From the last time. I don't know anything about a virus. Let's have a little privacy, shan't we? Mr. Black, are you familiar with the fable of the lion and the mouse? It is a rather amusing story. A lion has a thorn in his paw. And then along comes the mouse who offers the lion help to remove the thorn. And after this, the mouse gained a powerful ally in the animal kingdom. Now, everyone who hears the story would think what a fortunate timing for the mouse to happen to come by the lion in his time of need. In my opinion, all those people are wrong. I strongly believe that the thorn did not accidentally happen to land in the lion's paw. The mouse is clever, you know. 
The mouse has to be clever. If you don't have brawn, you need brain. So, the mouse cleverly placed the thorn in a way that the lion would end up with it in his paw. Then, when the lion already gave up on removing the thorn, along comes the mouse as the savior and helps him. Thusly, the mouse gains favor with the lion. The same basic principle still applies today. Just that the brawn has been replaced by influence and money. Do you see what I'm getting at with it? I'm the lion. <laughs> Clever, clever, but God, no, you're not the lie. Now, my poor friend, you are the thorn. Yes, I got the virus. I will send it immediately. All right, I just didn't give you yes. anything. Understood. Goodbye, sir. I got good news, and I got bad news. The good news is your suffering has come to an end. It's over. You let me go. The bad news is you die. Thank <laughs> you.